As long as Swazis eat, well, there's a lot of maize, and when they eat it, they eat a lot of it. And you will get fed a lot of it in the beginning. They will give you a mountain of maize. Uh, Lipalishi is made out of maize meal, or like ground corn, um, and that's their staple food here. And so they make that into many different dishes. That with meat is pretty much um, the, the main, main staples of Swazi food. Imasi is sour milk. It has a texture that's somewhere between cottage cheese, sour cream, and firm oatmeal. And the taste is not bad. It's okay. Emma Hay was good. It's kind of like a fermented milk with kind of like a maize thing in it. But it's sweet. And so I like it. It's, it kind of reminds me of like a liquid yogurt. Only it has these little chunky things in it. You kind of got to get used to the consistency, but it's good. They also have this thing they call lagusha and it's a plant they, uh, it, they they make it really slimy and i don't know how it's slimy but it looks like mucus oh and then if you eat meat i think it's a lot more strange like they'll eat goat and i don't know how that is in the states but it always it looks really really tough well they eat these grasshopper things they fry grasshoppers and eat them i guess the chicken's really good everyone says chicken is really good here but I don't know if there's a difference between like the chicken you see running around the homestead and then doesn't run around anymore versus like the white chicken that they've grown for the sole purpose of being eaten. There's like ceremonies with the cow, like only men can eat the cow head. It's really not that bad. Um, you just have to be careful when you're taking the piece of meat because if you're if you're not, you can end up with an eye or something like that, and that's that's a little awkward, but even the eye, it's okay. It's a lot of fun because you eat with hands when you're with your community sometimes, or a spoon. And the produce, though, is absolutely amazing. Like, you get the best fruit, like plums or grapes or pineapples. Avocados are huge here. Surprise, I know. Mangoes are absolutely amazing when they're in season. And it's really cool because you, you only get fruit, food, food and fruit that are in season um, for the most part. So you really, you really appreciate mango season, you really appreciate avocado season. It's easy to eat comfortably here. I eat a lot of um, like vegetarian fajitas, unless I feel like going and getting meat. Um, I eat a lot of beans and rice, and I make tortillas pretty regularly. I always make a lot of seeds. There's great broth, broth to play with, a lot of vegetables to play with. Um, Sometimes a lot of rice dishes, soy sauce, bring soy sauce. It's very hard to find very good soy sauce to bring soy sauce. Spices, you can, you have to be patient because they don't always have spices around, but you can find them and when you do, buy them because they make white rice, just add some spices, it's delicious. Uh, the Peace Corps does give you a cookbook, the Peace Corps volunteers put it together. And so I'm having a lot of fun trying um, different things. I don't expand a lot, but a lot of people have found um, a great opportunity to really learn how to cook. And a lot of people have expanded their knowledge on cooking and it's become a passion of theirs. I'm a vegetarian. People always ask whether I can be vegetarian here, and it's okay. If you're a vegetarian, you will be 100% fine. I promise you, you will be able to preserve your diet. Livestock. I'm a vegetarian, so I, I, I don't eat them. You can, you can buy vegetarian sausage, vegetarian mince, veggie chicken nuggets, um, there's all your, you got your lentils, vegetables galore. Yeah, they make beans for you and spinach and they always, they're very considerate when you, when they know you're vegetarian.